Megan. Golly, my line's just going zing. Mm -hmm. God, what a mean fish. Talk about getting your butt kicked. Two casts, two bites. So we're out here, we got out in the middle of the day. Because we're lazy. And it's just one of those deals where I don't know that a lot of them's deep and I don't know that a lot of them is shallow. So it's kind of that in between that five to, there's another bite right there, that five to 10 foot. And I really needed to play with this biffle head just to get better at it. Um, you know, it's, it's a good one. And I've caught them. I've done really good in tournaments on it. I remember at Beaver, I finished in the top 10 one year on it. Uh, just want to get more confidence and stuff in it. But kind of where I'm going with that is, is, you know, the traditional bait is the Biffle bug. That's what Biffle started off with and it's done good. Well, a lot of people throw that. And this water's pretty clear. And I've, honestly, the, the luck that I've had on it has typically been with a variety of baits, anywhere from a yum dinger. Probably my second favorite is a Christie crawl. And this here is a spine crawl. And it's, I like it because it's, it's slim in this clear water and it's just got a, real kind of finesse kick to it you know kind of subtle i guess is the word i'm trying to say and uh i mean if i was fishing dirtier water then it, yeah it'd probably be a biffle bug but with this and plus the smaller plastic i can i can go deeper with it uh, when i've caught them in the past it's been you know that five foot or less but here i'm probably gonna have to get out to like 10 or so maybe even a little bit deeper but you know it's 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 a lot like cranking you can cover a lot of water and you know that's what's funny is these days techniques all they do is change you know 25 years ago you could take a carolina rig throw it out and just i mean literally just reel it in where your weight touched the bottom we caught a lot of fish doing that kind of the same I mean I can just cover water I can feel what's down there it's just a good way to catch big ones and it's a good way to get a lot of bites Problem is they're just out there a little bit deeper. That this little stretch has just kind of got like a a shelf at like eight foot, you know. And this that's one thing about reeling and staying in contact with the bottom. Unless I go to a great big head, you know, you're limited to eight or ten foot deep. You know the 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 way that I love to fish it, like to fish it. Is reel it as fast as you can and still be able to touch the bottom. And you ain't got to just grind the bottom, just be able to touch it every now and then. Now, when you get a bite, you'll know it. Just keep it moving and cover a lot of water.
choked it. You know, there's just some days you don't have, or I feel like you don't have a lot of choices. I mean, like, it's freak, it's sunny, it's flat. You know, and a crankbait or something like that doesn't feel good. And top water's not the deal. And you know they're still up there shallow. And that's kind of where, it's kind of where this thing comes into play. Because you can literally just wind it, you know, wind it around. You know, and then in the beginning, whenever I first started doing this, I, I loved the technique and I liked everything about it, but I just could not, I could not hook them. Like I lost more than, than I caught. And what, what you have to think is that whenever they track that thing, they're coming from behind it. You know, like that, a lot of times they get it and they'll swim towards you. And what I would do is when I'd feel the bite, I would just jerk. Well, now I think, you know, what, what I try to do is when I feel the bite is you just keep reeling until your line gets tight. And then it's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a swing hook set. And I still, you know, I ain't perfect at it, but I've gotten a lot better over the years. But I think that uh, there's a, I think that a guy can use a variety of baits on it. Not just, uh, you know, one or two. I mean, I've caught them good with, with a dinger. I've had some really good fishing days when it gets like really, really clear like this. Uh, you know, like I said, the spine crawl. It's pretty fun, and that when them biggins are up there, they'll bite it. I just don't know how many biggins are, you know, left on the, on the bank. We're kind of in that marginal 72, 73 degree water temperature where they could be, they could be out deep. They can be on the bank. A little bit of both. I finally got him. That's part of the reason I've been missing some. This is like every bite, not every, but a lot of the bites today, they've all been different. Like some of them is just a, you know, you're reeling it's thump and you can tell it's solid and then you're reeling sometimes and they, you can just feel them like they pick it up and they're just carrying it. There's one little like I can feel it, there's kind of a, a rough spot and then there's kind of a slick spot. Oh, and that slick spot's where they're at. that a big one well next time you're out fishing and they're kind of in that in between you want to try something different the old biffle head you can put just about any bait you want on it just throw out and reel her in hope you guys learned something thanks for riding along